and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is a short demo that I just did about a year ago at Cheap Joe's in Boone, North Carolina. Great place to do a demo, and that was uh, one of my abstract demos. I hope you enjoy it. Let's watch together. Start off with just black and white, all right, this morning, and mid-tone. So I have my papers that I Xeroxed, make my own, there's some typography, I make my own lines. You can go buy artwork from books and art stores that already have the pattern, but the problem is that's somebody else's pattern. And now if you all use the same patterns from the same books that the art store provides for you, they're all gonna look the same. So now I have, I make my, even my own checkerboards. Sounds boring, but that's all I do. And then I Xerox it in different sizes, okay? I don't do inkjet printers and things like that because I have no worries about archivalness because the final coat of varnish will be a, a UV ultraviolet coat protects everything. And again, it can be shiny, semi-gloss, satin, or flat. Just know you have a choice. We'll get into that in a few days. So I'm gonna show you uh, two things. I'm gonna start off with one that's pure white, okay? And I'll show you one. Jeez, can you guess what the name yes. of that painting is? Yes. See, I communicated. Can you guess what the name of that? See how easy it is to paint as long as you're communicating. All right. Good job. Certainly isn't calm. There we go. This is the tape I like to use everywhere in my studio. It's box tape, self-adhesive box tape, no colorful tape because it really, really is sticky. And it's great for me putting my paints up on the wall. So when the painting is almost dry, I put it on the wall so I can stand back and look at it. I can't make a decision about the painting if it's done or not with all these other interruptions. So we'll do that. So I like to paint with both hands. I don't want to have one hand holding it, one hand with the brush. This way I get to paint with both hands, putting the sticky tape there, boom, 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 done. I'm gonna do it the same here with this. I'll be painting on two paintings at the same time, just to speed up this demo. Okay. These little tricks, Bob, is where your engineering pays off. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with you on that one. There are no tricks. <laughs> but we hear you, okay. So this one, I'm gonna get started. We always start off with a mid-tone. Mid-tone, like this. I just take white and black, mix it all up, and I start off with a mid-tone. What does that word mean? Thank you so much. Watch this. I'll do it this way. I'll do it on this. Mid-tone? Mid-tone. It's not dark, it's not light, it's in the middle. In the middle. So here's this color. It's darkest it's ever going to be, right? Here is the lightest that color's ever gonna be. You don't even see it. Here's the mid-tone. Okay. Oh, you said mid-tone. I thought you were saying Sorry. another word. Sorry. Sorry. But the darkest dark, lightest light, right? And so I always start off with a mid-tone because I'm halfway there. All I have to do is worry about or be concerned about my black and my white. You're already there. You already have ownership. I have my DNA all over this. And just wipe it on. Don't mix it up so neat. This is not engineering, all right? So, uh, I will get started. Here's my water. Big wide brush. Always wet the brush first. Don't put a dry brush in your paint because you want it to flow off. You want it to flow off really beautifully. And so I'm gonna mix this all up. Here's my mid-tone. See how hard painting is? <laughs> <laughs> the joke is you had four years to college to do this? I don't know. I'm putting down a mid-tone. So the next question is, how do you know that's the mid-tone? We get the darkest dark and lightest light. Now I can see all three. That's how simple. So don't worry, is it 5%, 10%? I don't care, but visually I have three values. And I only work with three values. All right. At the beginning, this is just black and white. We do the color the same way, but today it's all black and white. I use paper towels for mixing plain like this. So this is really for the benefit of 
the people that maybe have not have seen me paint like this. So we'll do that. This one's already dried. And this is, of course, you already guessed it, Kiss. Look how simple that was. I didn't do the lips, everybody does lips. I just like about two things that come together closely in a way, yeah. And all kinds of interpretation. The other thing I'm going to use now is my glue gel medium. Anybody's gel medium. It's not pourable, see it's really thick. But it will dry optically clear when it's done. All right, let me get some going here. This is strictly a, a just, I mean, a, a, a demonstration. I'm not doing a series yet. So there's the um, beginning of Kiss. Now when I do a collage, I don't do the, this way. Tearing off a little piece of paper, put some glue on it, and sticking it down. It's like you're building a mosaic, right? Don't do that. I don't have that much time left, so I put glue over everything. Oh, oh. smart. You guys are so good. I want you in my studio every day. <laughs> but look at this face. Oh, oh my gosh. Say that's your engineering again. <laughs> it's so sweet. So, so, sweet. Oh, so sweet. Right on. There we go. Glue. <coughs> now that's one oh last thing for me to God. do. I don't have to do anything and now I can play. Like that. Yeah. Okay. that and so, so we just want to be. Uh, so we're doing wow. <laughs> Give her a few How come you weren't my first date? You have been so easy. Okay. <laughs> I've done it the other way. <laughs> so I'm very carried away with no. this place. I know Don't the, you ever change pages. I know the wrong now I'm putting glue on top of it too. Now I'm embedding it. Yes. Now I'm embedding. So Don't worry about the wrinkles. Oh my I certainly am not. <laughs> no longer. This is um, a life changing. Now, this is a life changing. This is better than sex. Just go through it. Okay. Now, if you don't care for the uh, wrinkles, I like them. Show people it's a collage. I don't hide the fact that it's a collage. I'm gonna say, oh, I don't like wrinkles. It, I love that process, more texture. And I love these new products. It's kind of somewhat new. It's like a silicone. No paint sticks to it. I peel it right off. And it comes with different kinds of striations and some have, little, looks like a comb. This one, I'm just, all I'm doing now, really embedding this into that. And now, and now it will look like a print. Oh, he's good. <laughs> that is so good. Now here's one that's already been dried. I'm going to see if I can complete the whole thing. I, basically, I'm just showing you some techniques. So here's the glue. Putting it everywhere. This is like being back in first grade again. I've never left. Glue everywhere. You see why I say nothing else on your table. Just what's going to serve you for this painting. There we go. Nice and sticky. Here's the first piece. This is very improvisation. That's why I like improv jazz. Mm -hmm. you know. Bob, I also have found the tissue paper is great when you put the gesso the after. Say it again. When I'll... you put the gesso on top of the tissue you put, paper because it makes it bleed. Then it's going to disappear. Sure. It, I mean, well, um, this will bleed. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I like it. I'm just creating tension right now. <laughs> yeah, like you need more of that in your life, right? This is just tension. Oh yes, always. That way the paint flows off the brush easier. Oh, thank you. Now I'm putting some black on top. I'm working wet into wet. I don't wait to anything to dry. I don't, I don't have that much time left. And I'm making this interesting. I don't use scissors. I'm not allowed to have sharp things. <laughs> Is there a reason you don't use scissors? Uh, because I like the serendipity-ness of this. If you have to be sure of the end result, don't be a painter, be a brain surgeon. We like those people. But if you already know what it's gonna look like, why do it? This is discovering painting for yourself. Say, wow, I didn't think I had that in me. On and on and on. So this one already had glue all over the place. Let's put a surprise in here. I like the ragged edge, really, is the answer to that question.
and more on top. See lots of water. That's the whole idea of this. Look, paper towel. I love paper towel. I love the color. It was just sitting there waiting for me. I don't plan it all out. Yep. And then I like to wipe it away. Just because it's down, you don't have to keep it there. If it's not working, it's not working. Do a white in here. I like to take my brushes and extend them. That way I, I'm not, I don't hold my brushes up here. And that'll tighten it up really quick. Well, I'm having fun now. <laughs> so I take a brush, a normal brush. Unfortunately, all the brushes are narrower at the end. The handle is in the wrong place. It should be over here. It's easier to hold. But every, and that's why you all hold your brushes up here. It's easier to hold, but no. What do they, give? they give us these spaghetti things to hold and your hand's gonna end up looking like this at the end of the day. So I do fatten up my handles with anything that'll make my handles fatter. Basically tape. Not a pretty sight, but boy, are they ever comfortable to hold. Got it? Got it. So this one, and also by extending them, I got the idea from Henri Matisse. I didn't make this up. There's this famous photograph of him having some uh, health issues in bed. He's got that 10 foot stick drawing on the wall. And that's when the light went on for me. Aha! So I went out and got all my brushes and stuck twigs on them and bamboo sticks because it already has the hole in them, right? Clever, hey? And now I'll come back. Even the wet and the wet. Uh, the other thing about that's really nice about having a long handle, it keeps me at least at arm's length. You still don't hold it up here because you're going to be painting like this. That's why I get to stand back and see the whole thing. Now, I'm not going for a pretty painting. I know, we, we noticed that Bob is not a very pretty painting. That's not what my demo here is all about. Just showing you all the different techniques and things. That whatever you do, it's legitimate. Okay, don't be questioning and don't ask anybody else, is this the right thing to do? Don't ask them. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was fun for me. Now you know how much fun I have at the workshops there at Cheap Joe's in Boone, North Carolina. They're great fun for me. Well, I'll see you at the next Bob Blast. <laughs>